as I was going through the store, uh, one of the workers said that she wants to take me through a tour of what they have at this place. Um, also, the owner called and said that they even have another restaurant in Coral Gables. So it's a little bit, maybe half an hour down. But uh, one of the workers is going to explain everything here, which I think is super amazing. So stay tuned. Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. Today we are so excited because we are going to check out this place called Spice and Curry. Doesn't that sound super tasty? So it sparked my interest. I looked it up online. This is half an Indian grocery store and half a cafeteria. They are making homemade Indian food in the back of this grocery store. So I find that super unique. It's almost like a hidden gem and a lot of local people here are coming. So online, the food looks good. The grocery store looks great. We haven't been there before. So let's go check it out and experience it for the first time. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, hit the like, and let's go check out Spice and Curry. just see all of the Indian groceries and uh, yeah you get all of the um, I guess the products from India here on the right and then we have the grocery and you can see what we came for here which is the homemade Indian food in the back so we are starting our tour at the front of this grocery store so yeah uh, so first uh, let's go with the uh, incense sticks okay so oh. these are indian incense sticks so we do uh, like worship gods various oh. gods so you'll just light up those incense sticks in front of the god and do some chantings and all oh wow yeah it smells really beautiful yeah. on this side yeah. too yeah so this is where all of the incense is um they have it like very a lot of varieties of them and um they use it to like light for the gods light and in front of the god and do some pizza. Oh, okay, that's amazing. Oh wow, we get to see a sample. Oh wow. So you'll, you'll just Whoa. light up uh, with the lighter over here. Yeah. And it will burn and it gives a very good smell. If wow. You, try, you can smell it. Smells yeah, good. I can smell it from here. <laughs> yeah. I can smell. Wow, that is so oh, nice. Strong smell. Oh god. Yeah. yeah, because we're very far away, but. And also it has like a lot of uh, dust on the outside. Yeah, it's a powder kind of thing. Yeah, because I've seen them uh, like other versions of this, but they're not like that, and they don't smell that nice. <laughs> these ones smell really good. <laughs> and these like uh, you don't need to use only for puja, but also just for a good smell. Yeah. In the house, so. Really and nice. So uh, all these are oh, sorry. All these are instant mixes. Okay. So, like, just following maybe two to three steps, you can cook many things like uh, Indian desserts. Oh, wow. Uh, and uh, kulfis, ice creams. Wow. Gulab jam. Yeah. From that. Also, it's one of the famous yes. Indian deserts. Yes. Yes, so Alfonso. All these are his deserts. Favorite. Oh, really? Alf <laughs> yeah, and his name is Alfonso. That's why I was asking if you had Alfonso mangoes. <laughs> He's wearing yellow. Like a mango. <laughs> like a mango. <laughs> These are Indian breakfasts. Oh wow! Okay, um, yes. And these are even these are Indian breakfasts. So you can find um, like North Indian and South Indian yes. products here. Yes. That's very cool. Uh, and those are uh, Indian oils. Like we yes. use mustard oil for cooking. Yes. Sesame oil for like doing pujas. Yes. And these are mint water, kavra water, and rose water. Wow, that's really cool. So now coming to the dal section. Yes, I so can tell. So <laughs> all these are uh, varieties of Indian dals. Yeah. yeah. And that is Indian lentils. Yes. So like using all these, we make some lentil soup. Yes. And curries and all. Wow. Uh, so many. There's so many varieties yeah, of have, lentils. Yeah. Like it's hard to try them all. <laughs> <laughs> and so many recipes. Yeah. It's crazy, but I, I love that you have so much variety yeah. here. With each lentil, you can make at least five recipes. Wow. Yeah. Yes, that is great. 
And it's very healthy too, yeah. packed with protein. Yeah. Okay, very nice. Uh, and this is snack section. Mm. So all these are instant uh, noodles, like instant mm. ramen. Yeah. So these can be prepared within two minutes. Wow. Uh, and these are similar to it. But the uh, Maggi is very famous in India. Oh. So, yeah. That's the, so is this like a soup? Or is this like a... If you, if you want to make it soupy thing, yeah. you can make it. If not, like you can just have it like a noodle. Ah. Chowmin type. Yeah, and these are uh, rask. Rask in the sense like a, a kind of like dried a bread. To go with I the mean, tea? roasted bread, yeah. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> nice. And these are Indian snacks. Yeah, I've never seen these before. Yeah. I like, I love the you know the manchurian mm -hmm. that's super tasty what are these so these are oh that's the same it. yeah they're cool. called indian rusk so it's like crispy yeah it's yeah. crispy yeah. it goes with like the tea like tea here we have uh, all the flowers, flowers yes. like uh, basin maida soyabean flour mm -hmm. like they do uh, they do pakoras indian pakoras like indian snacks yeah. with this flour Yes. Even this with, uh, with this flour, and with this flour, we uh, they do make uh, some Indian breakfast or oh. some a dry uh, desert kind of thing. Oh, South India! Yeah, wow. very cool. I love South Indian food too. Mm -hmm. So tasty. And then we got Hyderabad. Oh, okay. oh. South India. <laughs> yeah, I love the Hyderabad um, biryani. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then they there. put the clay on the outside. Yeah. I wanted to make that at home, but it's too intense. Yeah. <laughs> the whole clay thing. <laughs> These are for uh, fast things, like uh, whenever you fast. Yes. Uh, like oh. you, like uh, you can have some drink kind of thing yeah. for like, boosting energy. And so this is like a flower drink. Yeah. Like they make different kind of uh, recipes. Yeah. But, uh, I, I just know the things. So yeah. I know about this. Oh, that's so interesting. Okay, okay, I see. So all these are um, Indian masalas. Yes. So like each recipe will have each uh, masala. Yes. So like if you want to try some chicken chicken curry, right. you can use this. And if you want to try mutton biryani, you can use this. That's super convenient that you can just grab it. Like if I want to make <laughs> yeah, chicken masala, I just yeah. grab that, right? Yeah. Uh, you know pani puri? Right? Yes, so I've made that. So using this, you can make the pani. Oh. You can add this pani. Yeah, a very um, like yeah, you have a recipes and wide many selection for each recipe. You have the pav bhaji. Yeah. That is really good. Yeah, it's super convenient that you have this all in like one recipe, one. <laughs> and uh, below you can see pani puri. Yes. So you can yes. just grab it and you can pani just puri. These are one of my favorite. Do you like these? Yeah, I love them. They're so addicting though. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because the texture of like the crunchy and the potato yeah. and then the it's so good. Yeah. Really cool. Yeah. And uh, these are poha. Mhm. Mm like uh, pad rice. So oh. And these are pad oh. rice. This is rice. Oh wow! Have you ever seen rice like that? No. No. So what happens when you cook this? Uh, like you can make, prepare snack kind of thing or oh. some breakfast. Yeah. So it's good and it is very healthy. Is this like a South Indian thing? Uh, no. Or everywhere? Everywhere. Oh cool. You can find everywhere in India. Wow, that's cool. I've never seen that. This is puffed rice. Puffed rice? Yeah. Oh. Puffed rice. So wait, this do you put water on this or is it already done? Like do you cook this or you just top is this like a topping? You can, you can cook this one and also you can have it like mixing some masala over it and you can have directly also. Wow. And it is healthy too. Healthy? Yeah. Oh wow. This is great. We're seeing a lot of things we've never seen before. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. These are Indian pickles. Oh. So they mix all the masalas with some like some vegetable or some fruit. Yes. I mean with the raw mango. Yeah. So 
like that like they store it for maybe one one year like that and mm. they can have throughout the year yeah i had something like this like a pickled um chutney mm-hmm. and it, ha- it was like a bomb of flavor yeah. like it was like pow <laughs> it was probably one of these so uh, the very famous pickle uh, of india is uh, like mango yeah and in mango we have many varieties of pickles yes so the avakai is the very best like um Popular. it's a go- go to pickle oh like, wow most of them will have this pickle what would you eat that with yeah. right with rice oh okay you can uh, add rice pickle and some ghee yeah clarified butter mhm and you can have it directly Yes, I I love ghee. With ghee a lot. Yeah, I'm slightly oh, addicted yes. to ghee now. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> It's a problem. <laughs> And these are instant uh, chutneys? Yes. So it's a pani puri concentrate. You can just mix it uh, in water and you can have ah, them. Ah, okay. Um that's super convenient. I made like some of these from scratch, but it takes a while. Mm, yeah. yeah. And this is tandoori paste? Mhm. You can make tandoori chicken ah. like and it is um, sweet bell chutney oh you can make uh, bell like uh, you can make some snack uh, with mamra i mean puffed rice oh wow and with this chutney there's so many things like to try that we haven't even tried before and i don't know if i have enough time to try everything there's so many different things <laughs> like i've never heard of that the sweet bail chutney i've never seen that before and coming to these curries mhm and these are curry sauces mhm you can add this to the pan and water mm-hmm. and you can just put some protein it protein to it okay yeah. yeah yeah chicken lamb. or lamb or yeah the jal yeah. frazzy is very very good yeah so all these are curries and then comes to the paste yes so we have biryani paste ah using this just add meat and then rice to it mm-hmm. and it makes biryani wow yeah. i did make biryani mm-hmm. from scratch and that was kind of a process too yeah <laughs> like whenever you don't have time but you are getting biryani cravings yeah. then you can try this biryani cravings <laughs> <laughs> and all these are uh Indian snacks yes. of the famous brand Haldirams. Oh, so, uh, it is very famous in India. What would you put with this? You like, can have directly. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think I've had that like topped on top of pani puri or something. That is, that is different. Oh. I'll just show you that. Okay. This is bujia. Oh, okay. And on on the pani puri you'll use the sev. Ah, okay. That is different. That's different. Yeah. Oh. These are uh, kakras. These oh. are very famous in Gujarat and North India, not part of India. Oh, okay. So it's like a bread? No, it's just a snack. Oh. Oh, it's a snack. I was thinking it was like um a uh, roti or something, no. but it's <laughs> but is it is it like a chip? Is it crispy? Yeah, it is crispy. Oh, that's interesting. And then they have different flavors. Yeah. Cool. the snacks so this is the bale se which is topped on the puri oh yeah you're right that is yeah. what it is it's a thinner it's a very right? thin kind of thing chickpea noodle snack yeah oh that's cool so it's made out of chickpeas that's yeah. chickpea healthy chickpea flour and these are spicy murku they are very famous in south india oh uh, and just now i showed you the pap rice right yeah. it is one of the snack item which is made of that pap rice oh wow i like how it's like chickpea noodles and peanuts. I feel like it's yeah. like protein, like healthy. Yeah. Wow. And here we have uh, some rice. Mhm. Uh, small packages of rice. We have basmati rice. And these are aged basmati rice. Oh, does it have a different flavor? Yeah, like uh, aged rice will have more flavor than the recently <laughs> oh rice. did you even know that alfonso because you're a rice lover What? they have aged basmati rice and it has more flavor yeah. can you believe this guys <laughs> this is cool i've never seen that before <laughs> that's really cool yeah and these are peanuts indian yes. peanuts so you'll make some um, chutneys or some food items yes <laughs> 
Oh, yes. Okay. We're going to pause the tour. But, guys, this is incredible. We're seeing things that we've never seen before, which is super exciting. I'm really impressed with the aged rice because we're rice lovers. We eat rice almost every day. And I never even heard of aged basmati rice. And the flavor, she's saying, is way better. Uh, I super appreciate the owner of the store letting um, his worker come in and give us a tour. We never had that before, so thank you. And uh, yeah, we're going to continue and then we have the food in the back. All this talk about Indian food is getting me hungry. So this is the spice aisle. Oh, so okay. you'll find um, many, like all these are Indian spices which we use for cooking or some, yes. for some health benefits. Yes. Like so like... Um, the product which is used uh, like for each and everything is red chili powder. Yes. So without this, uh, like um, we can't survive. Kind of thing. <laughs> the recipe yeah. you can't so go e without e it. <laughs> each and every recipe goes with this one. So it's a uh, yeah. I kind of like the cashmere chili powder. I love this one. The which one? The other powder? Oh, the other powder is that you can't go without it. Every Indian recipe has red chili powder. Yeah. <laughs> Almost everything. Yes. Uh, so using uh, red chili powder, coriander powder, and cumin powder. Yes. Uh, and turmeric powder. Ah, yeah. So if you have these four powders, you can make many, many recipes out of these four. Yes. Uh, masalas, like spice. Yeah, I have like all of these at home so I definitely know what you mean <laughs> yeah and this is the garam masala it's a um, powder yes. like blend of many spices so whenever you are making something uh, like biryani mm. or some chicken mm -hmm. some protein curry you can add this one mm -hmm. and it gives a very delicious flavor to it yes yeah it's kind of a warm flavor right yeah yeah I, I love that I think I added that to my tea too oh. These are red chili. Ah, yes. So, like, uh, it's a go to thing. Yes. In most of the recipes. Very spicy, foods. right? Yeah. Yeah. I like that. I like that also in Indian cuisine, you guys use like the raw, like actual yeah. sticks, sticks instead of the um, powder. Some of the recipes I follow, yeah. they ask for the stick. Raw spices. Uh huh. These are curd chilies. Oh. So during summer in South India, yeah. they make uh, these chilies and they'll fry it in the oil and they'll have with some lentil soup oh. or some curd rice. Is it spicy this one? Not spicy. Yeah. You can pack it like this. <laughs> so it's a marinated chili. Yes, it is marinated with a yogurt, Indian yogurt. Oh wow, I've never seen that. Yeah. Like a marinated chili. I've just seen like chili arbol, like even in Mexican food, they have those plain chilies, but never a marinated chili. Yeah. That's really interesting. Maybe you should give it a try. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and we have cloves mm. uh, and mustard you seeds. Use too, right? yeah. I use I use cloves a lot. And uh, mustard seeds and ah. uh, cumin seeds we use um, like most of the time in all the lentil soups or yes. some curries. I mean. Yes. And uh, in India, we have three types of sesame seeds. Oh. That is white, black, and brown. Oh. So we use all these three uh, sesame seeds in like many recipes. So is this one just more cooked? Something like how does like it get that. black? Uh, like it, it it is grown like that. Oh wow! Okay, that's yeah. cool. Wow, super knowledgeable tour. Thank you. <laughs> and we even have like um, raw spices like Oh cardamom. yeah, those are beautiful. And we have two types in cardamom. Oh. Uh, black cardamom and green. Yes, I've seen that in recipes. one too yeah, at home as well. like uh, you can add these on parathas or some uh, you know chapatis puris yeah. kind of things 
Wow, you really have everything here. Yeah. Yeah, sure. What is this one? Uh, oh, it's a curry powder. So you can mix this in any of the curry like, wow. uh, without adding any other The spice. packaging looks very interesting. Yeah, like yeah. it just stood out for me from the other yeah. ones. <laughs> so these are like uh, spices mm. for chicken kebab, shawarma, mm. uh, and falafel. And this is peri peri masala. Oh. Like you add it to the um, french fries. Yummy. Essence, cardamom oh, essence, wow. mango, um, biryani essence, mango essence. Oh, wow. Biryani essence? Yeah. Wait a minute. That took a minute for <laughs> it to sink in there for a second. Like, what? <laughs> That's really cool. And, uh, for food items, we are, we'll use these colors in India. Ah, okay. So this is orange, I mean, saffron color. Yes. And this is green. Sometimes they use for green chicken. Ah, okay. And this is red color. Very this cool. This is yellow food color. Yeah. Oh, wow. And yeah, coming to this, this is uh, as a tortilla. Mm. It's, it's called as hing in India. Oh. So, like, uh, we'll add this uh, so that uh, it, it improves your digestion. Oh wow, that's interesting. We have three types of uh, things. Yeah. Uh, this is the whole thing, and this is Vagde one devi thing. So is this like a vitamin or a herb? Uh, herb only. Like uh, oh. it is made of uh, some uh, star, like wheat starch. Oh kind of wow, that's interesting. So uh, all these are other spices ah, okay so this is the spice aisle yeah very nice hmm. so mostly in south india mm -hmm. we use sona masuri rice okay uh, and uh, so that's a different like texture or flavor than the yeah. basmati yeah oh wow and basmati mostly you'll use in north india oh north parts. Uh, like mostly north indians use chapati uh -huh. that is roti Okay. So mostly they'll oh, yes. uh, use very less uh, rice. Yes. So they'll eat the curry with, with the, the naan or the roti. Chapati roti. Oh, wow. Yeah, I think that's the, my subscribers were telling me that like in North America, we eat a lot of naan, but in India, they don't eat that much naan. Yeah. They eat what you just Chapati, said. Chapati, which is very healthy. Yeah. That's Chapati very interesting. Roti. Mm -hmm. And this is all this uh, basmati. Uh huh. Yeah. And these are uh, some like South Indian, uh, like maybe they are used in uh, Kerala or Tamil Nadu. Mm. I don't know exactly. I like how you have like all you can get everything north south here at this at this place. Yeah. And even in the rice, we even have the healthy rice. Oh. So we do have brown basmati rice. Ah, okay. Very cool. India gate rice. India gate. So it is a uh, very like um, classic rice in India. Oh, wow. Whenever you have any parties, yes, or marriages, weddings, we'll use celebration. This. You get yeah. India gate basmati rice. <laughs> Man, yeah. uh, and we even have chapati flour like uh, atta. Okay. And these are other like oh rice. yes. And we have uh, whole wheat, uh, whole wheat flour. Like Is this from India? Yeah. This flour, because they, yeah. my subscribers were telling me that the flour in America is different than the Indian yes. flour. So this is Indian flour. Oh. So this is Ashirwad whole wheat flour. Okay. So it is made with whole wheat, and we even have atta, I mean flour in the Sujata brand. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's that's unique. Yeah. And we even have in the smaller packs. Oh, okay. So, oh, yeah, it's a. That's good. So this is the ten pound bag. Yeah. Um, and that can make a lot too. Yeah. And this is smaller pack in uh, 
Sujata Brah. Yeah. Wow. In this section, yes, you'll be able to find ghee. Yes. So like it's a clarified Indian butter. Yes, the best. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and it is healthy too. Yeah. And these are some syrups. Uh, using these syrups, you can make uh, some juices. Oh, okay. Like pineapple juice. Yes. Uh, rose based soup. You could probably make ice cream. Mm. Yeah, you can. With add. the rose. I think I had some sort of a yeah. rose ice cream one time. Yeah. And these are papats. Like, uh, mm. you can fry them in Ooh. oil and you'll get uh, some fryam kind of thing. Yeah. Is that, what, is that the one that puffs up? Yes. Ooh, yeah. That's cool. I like how it just like puffs up. Once you put it in oil, it just like psh, gets bigger. And it's really oh. tasty. And these are Indian snacks, like bale, yes. which I have shown you. Ah, right? yes. If you're using puffed rice, yes. you can make bale snacks. Yes. This is uh, bakri. This is uh, some Gujarati snack. Yeah, that, that was that one over there, right? No, no, that is oh. different. And this is different. Oh, wow, they're so different, but they <laughs> kind of look similar. <laughs> this is vermicelli. Ah. So mostly Muslims. Roasted. Muslims use this vermicelli uh, during their festival, uh, Ramadan festival. Ah, okay. So this is uh, very famous for Ramadan. Okay, cool. Roasted too. Yeah. Chana, chana means uh, peas, chickpeas, uh -huh. but they are coated with um, jaggery. Uh, brown Alfonso has so much energy. If we gave him one of those, it'd be times 10. <laughs> yes. Yeah, this is what I love about Indian food. When you put the raisins in with, with the curry, it just tastes so good. Like velvety smooth. These are black raisins. Mm -hmm. seen a recipe with walnuts yet but maybe like they do desserts a lot yeah. with walnuts and these are Indian almonds yes really nice these are charoli nuts uh, like they put all these nuts in some Indian deserts okay yeah. never heard of that kind pistachios. pistachios wow you have everything So cashews. Oh. I guess cashews are still yeah, yeah. everywhere. <laughs> this one though, I think I've had this before. Yeah. Fennel seeds, but sugar coated. Oh, yeah. Um, I at one of the restaurants I had a, I'm not sure if how, what to call it, but it was like a leaf and mm -hmm. it had. Oh, it's a bun. Yeah, and they had, but they had that too or something. You eat. Or maybe Fennel this seeds? was just they on the side. They put that in, right? Yes. Yeah. And it ha it's like for digestion yes. or something. Yes. And it was like refreshing. Yeah, we even have the pan. I'll show in the frozen. Oh, cool. Section. Yeah. And these are coconut flakes. Yes. These are coconut flakes. These are coconut slices. Okay, wow. Yeah, South India does a lot of coconut. Yeah. I like coconut. We even have coconut cream, mm -hmm. coconut milk. Mm hmm. Okay. So now coming to the cookie section. Cookie section. Cookie so section. <laughs> <laughs> so all these are Indian cookies. Yes. So uh, these are like crackles. Yes. This one. And all these are crackle kind of uh -huh. crackers. Sorry. Uh huh. 
Wow. Um, these are uh, cream biscuits. I mean, cream yeah, cookies. With chocolates. With chocolate. It's a chocolate flavor. And we, hi- we even uh, get in strawberry and other flavors also. Mm. But currently, we have chocolate. Wow, we're going to have to get one on the way out for Alfonso. <laughs> and we even have good day biscuits. Oh, okay, good biscuits. Day cookies. Like these are very famous in India. Oh, good day. Yeah, yeah when you eat that, you have a good day. Yeah. <laughs> so start have a good your day. day with a good day. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> so we even have in the uh, bigger packer packages. Oh, okay. So There's a cashew cookie. Yeah. Oh. Butter one. Pistachio. Mm-hmm. So that's like a big brand, yeah. right? Okay. Section is for tea. Tea section. Tea section. So if you want instant tea, yes. Milk based tea, yes. So you can use this. Like you can just add some hot water and then mix a uh, one sachet in it. Yeah. You get a uh, Indian tea. This is very interesting. Yeah. How you have like some uh, like. Uh, this blood is for pressure. kidney support, diabetes support, blood pressure, cholesterol, and moringa. Like it's for like um, yeah, tea and all. And this oh, one, uh, this one is for skin, wrinkle, hair, bone, joint, and teeth. Should probably get that. I need that. Since it says long life. <laughs> <laughs> I think as soon as you walk through the store, you should just head straight for the long life tea. <laughs> yes. One tea for all problems. <laughs> One tea for all problems. <laughs> yeah, and we even have heart and blood vessel support tea. Wow. So is this Indian brand? Like, uh, yeah. I just think that's really cool because I've never seen like something like that. Mm. Is for health quick energy yeah alfonso you need that too <laughs> <laughs> quick energy food cool yeah and we even have uh, some like um, green teas mm-hmm. uh, green tea and elaichi like uh, cardamom tea oh wow yeah Ka- cardamom green tea yeah ginger flavored tea and masala wow lots of teas so all these are paneer uh-huh. and all these are uh, samosas stuffed nice. with varieties and these are Indian pakoras. Wow. And I'll show you the samosa section. Samosas. So Ooh, samosas. samosas. You'll find uh, Punjabi samosa with, I mean, uh, potato and chickpeas, mm-hmm. chicken tikka and some with spinach, some with lentil. Nice. Butter chicken. I mean chicken. Yeah. Cool. And in this section, you'll find uh, deserts. Dessert in, section. In frozen deserts. Ras malai. Yeah. Instant mixes. Yeah. These are frozen breakfasts. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. And these are. Um, <laughs> oh yeah. Kebabs. Very nice. Wow, well, that was such a thorough tour of this beautiful store called Spice and Curry. And like I said, at the side back here, they have the fresh food. I want to thank this lady so much for showing me around. That was so nice, guys. So we're going to do a part two of this video. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the like, hit the bell, and watch part two of this video.